Ugh, this guy looks like he could be my cousin. So, it's weird being able to say that there are smaller YouTube channels out there than mine, but there is. And one it belongs to this gentleman who I whose name I assume is JC. Um, <laughs> called Everyday Thoughts JC. And uh yeah, he's about to explain to us how black men have entitlement issues. That's right. The black man uh, I assume by black man, he means, you know, the American descendants of slaves, because you know how everybody likes to throw the term black out there like uh, out there a lot. So, you know, as a representative for the Negro populace of uh, the United States, I feel like uh, there's a few things on, on our end that I can explain to the young gentleman here. And uh, this video was like done a year ago. It doesn't have a lot of views, but it gives me content. So let's get into it. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, it's your boy, JC, uh, Everyday Thoughts. Uh, basically, what I'm going to talk about today is uh, some black men actually have entitlement issues uh, when it comes to women, you know. Now, I'm really curious as to what he's considering entitlement issues, because like I haven't fully watched this video at all. I like to keep it fresh when I go through these, but... Um, yeah, I'm, I can't help but feel like we're about to hear a lot of uh, gynocentric uh, indoctrination come out of this young man's mouth. Now, I don't know his parental uh, situation. I don't know his um, upbringing. I don't know if he has his dad in life or not. But in many cases, like such as with mine, I have my dad, but my dad was a simp. And, um, you know, from a time frame, from a time period where, you know, like what we can ask. What we consider a simp today was actually it, it actually paid off back then. You got the wife for life. You don't get a wife for life anymore. And so <laughs> it's really interesting to see where he goes with this. So, yeah, let's go. I feel like a lot of men feel like women owe them something or owe them, owe them a conversation. Um, and sometimes. So what do you mean by owe them a conversation? Because if I'm nice to you, if I like, how do I put it? Because I'm not, I'm not, not hashtag nice guys. But you know, if I'm being cordial, if you're like, hey, what's going on? Oh, nice shoes and stuff like that. Yeah, we speak. We have a good conversation. We got some energy and and whatnot, what have you. Like, yo, there's nothing wrong with being uh, a bit with, with returning kindness. And that's something that a lot of American women um, part in particular do not do. They don't feel like they have to return kindness or, you know, even be, um, you know, just, how do I put it? Pleasant. There we go. That's, that's a perfect word for what I'm looking for here. Pleasant. There is a, 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 a strain within uh, the American black woman that, you know, pleasantness is just it's an option, not really a necessity. Us, a lot of men feel like the uh, woman owes him owes him sex just because he took. Her well, really, it depends on what he spent, right? <laughs> out to a, a restaurant, you know. And hey, what's going on, everybody? What's going on, everybody? So he feels like they owe him sex because he went out to a restaurant. Well, did she lead him on? I mean, <laughs> oh, you victim shaming. I'm not victim shaming. What I'm saying is, if we go out, like me, I'm so acutely aware of energy. Right. I know when it, I know if, you know, I, if if a, if a female is into me. So if I like a if I'm if I've decided to take her to lunch, I already have signals and signifiers from her that she's into me to a point where, no, I'm not wasting my money. And that's something that a lot of guys uh, really don't seem to have these days is the like, you know, like, hey, like it, it, a lot of guys are not able to um, sense energy like at all. I know that sounds a little DBZ ish, but it's a it's a real thing. Like you can tell when it shakes into you or, you know, when she when she kind of fob and you when she feeling you, it's not really hard to point out. I just feel like a lot of guys um, don't what's the name don't recognize that. What's going on, everybody? How's everybody doing? I'm good. Thank hey, you. what's up, darling? What's I going on, everybody? So this is a live stream. But I just feel like a lot of men feel like, you know, feel like they're entitled to a woman's, uh, a woman's body just because he's cutting her line, he's helping her out with her kids. Um, and I don't feel like that's... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, shoot. What, you think he's doing it for his health? <laughs> like, 
false, my guy. What what do you think he's doing it for? Like just to, to because oh yeah, you're also just a good friend of mine. Hell no, nah, he's my man trying to crack. Like the like what part of the game are you missing here? Right. I feel like as a man it's all about honor and integrity. You know, let's be just two of your core values. You know, you do anything to try to get anything as far as sexual pleasure out of women beforehand, and you guys have not uh, exchanged that kind of information. I feel like you're you're misleading her, and you're leading her down. Wait, what? Like, okay, so he's like, if you don't, I feel like you um you need to like what let her know that you want to smash beforehand. I mean, it really shouldn't be that much of a mystery. And when it comes to misleading and manipulation, I mean, <laughs> like, yo, she's the one that's getting things done for her. You know, one of the things I can't help but feel we're not going to get in this video is him bringing up what she can do for him, you know, say outside of the sexual realm. I'm the wrong path. Yeah, I just feel like uh, a lot of men, we just need to stop just doing stuff for sexual gratification and start doing stuff because I feel like because I feel like I want to I want to see this person grow and develop and I want to see her nurture and I just want to help her out because I see she's she down her luck. You know, she OK, so I don't, I'm not trying to be mean at all because I don't know if he's young. He seems a bit on the youngish side. And but uh, the young man right here, he's like, yo, you're supposed to nurture her and take care of stuff. That's actually not our biological position. Uh, that's not our biological disposition. We don't we're not the nurturers. We're the ones that are supposed to provide something. And what and you just got finished telling us what these men are providing for these women. Oh, he going to help her take care of the kid or her kids, not his kids, her kids, not their kids, but her kids. He's going to mow her along, what not, what have you like, yo, he's providing something. What is she providing? Once again, he's not bringing that up. He's like, yo, all these things that you're supposed to do for her. And this is a big part of the brainwashing. Well, I'm kind of glad that I did this video. Let's keep going. I need, she might need some money. Uh, she might need her, her her car her car fix and you know that's the thing we have to realize we have to work on being servants to women whoa whoa -ho -ho. what are you my guy my guy no no serve yourself my g <laughs> we have to work on being servants to women oh lord yo like this is uh this is the type of pay pig that old girl um the, the, the nicolo chick yeah, the, 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 he man, he would be dropping bread on this bro. And the reason his face is familiar to me because I've seen a lot of people online actually point like, oh, this guy is King Simp. I, I like, honestly, I came across this video and I was like, wait, yeah, the face is really familiar. But man, yo, yo we got to be servants to women. Nah, bro, they wanted that equality. And when if you come across a woman who doesn't want that equality, who who wants to serve herself because that's really her position. We're not here to serve them. We're here to serve. Like As far as I'm concerned, I, I am here to serve God. I'm put on this planet to serve God. What I like, everything I try to do tries to, you know, um, ultimately uh, spread the message that God gave me, which is, hey, just don't be a dick, man. Like, I mean, life, 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 this life thing is pretty sweet. I, I gave you paradise here on earth. Enjoy it. You know, like, don't, don't be an asshole about it uh, for the most part. <laughs> so that's who we're here to serve as men. We're here to serve God, the woman by, and this is going to sound a little rough, but ladies, you're here to serve us. Okay. You are here to be that complimentary piece as we go about, you know, doing what the Lord would have of us. And unfortunately, you know, this, the, the whole dynamic is so upside down that you got this really slow seeming gentleman right here. Uh, I'm <laughs> talking about how we need to serve women. Yo, bro, where's your sack, man? You know, uh, we're here to we're here to serve women. We're here to cater to women. We're here to protect women. And um, you know, we, we should without a single thought of what she's supposed to do for you. Oh man, Jesus! Is, is there a bluer pill out there? They have to keep. They should have to have. They shouldn't have to keep questioning our character or our motives and stuff like that just because we took her out to our dinner, uh, just because we're going out going out taking her to a party to an event um like i said a lot of times 
shoot, if he paid, I mean, like, yo, like, once again, you should be able to tell from a chick's energy if she really into you or not. This, this is, it's actually pretty unmistakable when a female is really into you. So, like, this isn't hard math, guys. Like, like you should, I do believe that men shouldn't be um, expecting, uh, you know, physical contact or intimacy with somebody who hasn't given them that energy. But once again, I don't think a man should be giving his resources, his time, and his energy to a woman who hasn't given that given her his given her that energy given him that energy my goodness that's how to make it happen too when you're with a woman and you bring her to the house as well you know a lot of guys feel like okay because i brought because just because she's out over my house or my crib that yeah, y'all supposed to have sex and that's not um well why else are you here ma'am <laughs> Like, uh, oh yeah, we just go and chill and kick it. Like, and that's one of the fun things about that cat and mouse game between the male and the female is like, yo, like we both know what you here to do, and as long as I don't say it, but you know, just just get you get you in get you in the mood and get you ready, like it, it's going down without question. Net kisses, guys. Net kisses. I promise. That's not always true. I mean, it can it can lead to sex, but that shouldn't be your ultimate goal. You know, you need to figure. Then what should be the ultimate? Oh, okay, so what should be the ultimate goal here? I, <laughs> like, yo, pause. What should be the ultimate goal? If I did to just like yo go hammer time, drill it on out, you know, leave like 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 tattoo Jay was here inside of labia, exactly. What's the ultimate goal? What getting to know her? That's what we got phones and text messages for. That's what I spent like me personally, because like when I like me, I like to have that chemi chemi kind of chemistry with a female before you know all that take place. So like that's what I spent all that time not in the crib. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? doing i got to know you already and yo like it's, it's time to get down but you know there are rules to it there, there there's definitely a, a cat and mouse game that goes along with that uh, what the person is a person uh, know her likes and dislikes uh, etc you know and that's how a lot of situations come to a violent a violent situation where a man is uh physically abusing her or even wait so it, so because he doesn't take the time to know her likes or dislikes. It just turns into a violent situation. I'm being a little facetious here. I know what he means. He means, oh, well, if she denies him, then it can become very uh, dangerous. But that's where, ladies, you have to have a bit more uh, self-awareness. I mean, it's worked out pretty well for me because I'm just not an a-hole. But y'all have to be far more discerning when it comes to the, mother to, to the people. I was about to curse there. When it comes to the people that you're going to physically engage with, you're, that you're going to trust enough to go to their home, right? Right. It does occur when when, uh, when a woman is divided over a man's house. Uh, so like I said, ladies, y'all just got to be careful of our... But it also happens the other way around. Make absolutely no mistake about it. Like, yo, like I've had my morning wood played with on more than one occasion by uh, females that I wasn't particularly interested in getting down with. So it does happen both ways. If you want to sit here and talk about who actually goes through more abuse and who goes through far more graphic abuse, it is young boys, man. Like that, man, that's San that, that Jerry Sandusky slapping in the shower thing. <laughs> Like, oh, God, that's so terrible. You know, y'all, you know, y'all dealing with dudes, y'all going over to a dude's house, you know, if you feel uncomfortable, just make sure you, you know, you exit left, you know, you exit, and you don't need to, you don't need to be around a situation, especially you don't feel comfortable, because, like, nine times ten, if a man uh, bring you up to his house, you know, he, he does expect sex, it ain't no... Ain't no gimme, it ain't no, you know, what else for we I just wanna watch TV. No, no, no. You just got finished saying how well, you know, you could be there to wanna get to know her and everything else like that. Like, yo. <laughs> just walking talking contradictions, man. That's how you could tell this this gentleman is very feminine minded. If you wanna watch Netflix, whatever, like all oh, this this kind of BS when a guy's trying to invite you over his house and stuff like that. Like I said before, like I said, my like I said, some of my core values is being um, it's all about honor and integrity. And uh, like I said, if you just want sex, you let the woman know. Uh, quit wasting your time. Quit wasting your time, and you know. Twenty bucks says that like he there's a very specific situation where a girl he was into 
like was just getting piped down and she was going to him and telling him how oh my goodness like yo I, I never meant for any of this to happen and all this other stuff and every time it seemed he just wanted to be inside of me and it's just like and and so like he he felt compelled to drop this video talking about hey guys don't want sex from women <laughs> i'm sorry but <laughs> no you know what not on Bottom of your heart, that ain't what you really want with a relationship without no long term commitment. You know, just just be honest. You know, a lot of women look for the same thing, and um, you know, you just gotta be real. But this thing can't be honest with a woman. No offense, ladies, but I mean, lying to you is the only way things get done. If when you're honest with a woman, she does not respect that. She actually like resents it. When you're honest with her, no, 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 you gotta bullshit her. She does not respect that, like, because him, he's on this belief that you know females are honest, are like he thinks we are the same thing. He thinks we are equals. He thinks he can think for a woman. No, 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 no. And I don't think I can think for a woman, but I just know that you are better off lying your ass off. And in many ways, you know, like you can't put him on a pedestal, okay? Like you, you, you just can't. And this guy is pedestal, like yo, like monuments. All right, this guy has 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 erected sculptures to uh, <laughs> to the uterus. Real with yourself as a man, you know. You know, like I said, it's all about it's all about being honest with yourself first. You know, before you try to be honest with somebody else. You know, everything starts with self. And also, too, with the first thing, as far as the. As far as the uh, the first dates, as far as going on dates, I mean, guys, they want to act like, oh, it's all about the woman. She using me for my money, my resource, my for my free attention. But you got to realize that, you know, as a man, it's like you, you kind of feel like you on top of the world. You got with a, with a, with a woman, with a lady as well. Like you OK, so like once again, he, he, you really generalizing here, my guy. Because, like, not all females are created. No one's created equal, all right? Like, it, yeah, you could be on top of the world. Like, if you're sitting there across from one of those chicks in the Trump and in, in, in the Hot Girls from Trump video. But if you're sitting there across from, you know, uh, Pukisha, it's a, a bit of a different bit of a different vibe, a bit, a bit of a different feel. Like, hey, you know, maybe you should be grateful that I'm taking you out, particularly if she got all these kids and she's overweight and she has absolutely like zero SMV, you know? Like, it, it really is completely situational here, my guy. Think that, oh, yeah, I'm the, I'm the stuff, I'm the big daddy, you know, because, you know, I got the chick on my arm. Like, you know, I like, <laughs> I like sitting across from this, from this woman, you know, just in. How many bad bitches you think he sat across from? Like me, I got three. But how many bad bitches? Like I'm talking about like straight like tens. How many? How many bad bitches you think he sat across from? I don't know. But a conversation with her, you know, you know, looking at her, her her movement, you know, learning about her past or her fantasy, what her, her goals, aspiration too, as well, you know, but just going on dates and just. Yeah, but that's the thing. I mean, yeah, that's sort of what you're there to provide as the man is those goals and aspirations. Because, like, I'm telling you, we got this whole gender thing out here. But if you look at just biology and how things have worked and how things have gotten to where they are, the like the ultimate goal for the woman is to be a part of that type of partnership. You know, like where it will like be part of what we call the nuclear family where, you know, she's the mom. She has this responsibility. She's taking care of the kids. She's doing great things. You know, saying no one's stopping her from getting a job. No one's stopping her from working and nothing else like that. But like her primary function, her primary goal is to take care of the children and make sure everything's OK. You know what I'm saying? And that as the man is what you are there to provide that along with the resources. OK, but what happens what's happened in the industrialized world is that we've been able to circumvent that we've been able to remove fathers we've been able to um you know really uh place females in this position of oh well you don't need no man because the government it could, well, you can either take care of yourself or the government will take care of you and we're removing that necessity has had just irreparable um consequences on society and culture as a whole by you know being half just being half 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 self you know you know i feel like we can do we can do a lot better you know as far as the entire entitlement situation you know like i said we gotta love our women we should we should love our women. what do you mean our women like bro like if i have a woman that's my woman not 
our woman. I mean, that that right there is on some cuck shit. Like, <laughs> like our woman, yes, because you like to be, you gotta, like, you seem like the type to have, like, a few thousand Eskimo brothers. And, and I think it's inevitable. I mean, we all got Eskimo brothers, if you're not familiar with the term. It's, uh, you know, you, you you both stuck your, your pole in the same hole. Can you dig it? Uh, but, <laughs> you know, I got that from the league. But, yeah, uh, so, like, you my guy there's no our woman if you you only need one okay be let's be very clear about this it, you just need one unfortunately it, one is in very 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 short supply back to life and well we just try to protect them and um at all costs you know what's going on mary what's going on with your brother what y'all though like I said, I just wanted to say that, you know, like I said, just... Okay, so I'm not going to sit here and listen to you, you know, you know, rambling for another two minutes. Uh, deal with this is that, I, like, honestly, it, 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 he'll get there. He seems a bit on the youngish side. And like I said, he looks like he could be a cousin of mine that is just... And trust me, when it comes to my cousins... Yeah, they want some simp shit, too. So it is what it is. Oh, the internet stuff. If you liked it, toss it a like. Dislike, go ahead. Do that, too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want to get videos like this every single day. Share because sharing is caring. And YouTube and bitch shooting like aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications and speak. Let me know. What do you think in the comments? Is it a little surprising that there's, like, there's still smaller channels than mine? Like, Jesus Christ. Like, in, 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 am I punching down because he has, like, less subs than me? I'm, I, 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 I don't know the rules at this level because I'm not at, like, any kind of high level, but I'm higher up than he is. Um, also, uh, like, this, this, this mindset, this mentality has been ingrained in not just him, but tons of young men where it's like, oh, our women, we have to protect them all. Oh, m my black woman and all the other stuff where I, but he was far more general about it. At least he didn't take it into the race, um, into, into the race corner. But either ways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Okay. And until the next one.